Now, there are so many options when it comes to dining room chairs, but you might want to think about certain things, have them in your mind when you're going shopping because that will indicate what you're going to uh, pick out. Absolutely. You've got a good selection here. I think so. They're really mm -hmm. varied, right? Yes. Um, well, this, let's start with this one. It's from LT. What I like about this chair is very traditional. This is a good yeah. option if you're really into traditional decor. It's got some nice details, like the beautiful sort of stud detail that's across the back. It's made out of leather, mm -hmm. but it's really durable, this fabric. For in the dining room, if you spill on it, you can clean up leather really easily. So right. it's a good choice. But what I want to point out about it, and I like the weathered look, by the way. Me too. I like how wide it is, because a lot of chairs are too narrow, and you might feel sort of crammed in your chair. This one's wide, it has no arms. And that's, some, that's a personal thing, whether or not you want to have armchairs. Sometimes it's good because the arms can get in the way of the table. table yeah. So this is a good option for an armless chair. And because it's wide enough, you still have the comfort. You have somewhere to put your arms. Yeah, and it looks <laughs> comfortable. Doesn't it? Yeah, I want to hang out at, a, at the dinner table for many, many hours. Exactly. You know, like that's just what hang you out want. around my dinner plate. That's what you want. And it's based on a very traditional style called Regency. And if you go okay. on Google and look up Regency, you're going to see lots of this curved shape. And it's very ergonomic. That's going to give you lots of comfort nice. across the back. And one other thing is you can lift it from here. And that is a consistent consideration when you're pulling your chairs in and out. Like I'm not a big fan of chairs like a Parsons chair yes. that's fully upholstered because you're kind of like you gotta struggling the with the thing. whole chair. You have to really work out to go and eat. <laughs> so you burn those calories. You really do. This one, so this is like very different. Very I like, different. I like the color. Isn't this great? So this is actually a very old design. It's designed by Michael Thonne in the 1700s. It's called the Era Chair. And if you like France or you look at any paintings, you'll see a lot of paintings from like Toulouse-Lautrec or Renoir mm -hmm. and you see the Parisian cafe. This is actually a version of that chair. Usually Lovely. it has no arms. This one has arms. And that's what I love about it. What Michael Thonney did was he, he created this um, sort of pattern for creating this bent wood form. So it's all one single piece of wood oh, rather than wow. joined up. And that's what gives it its elegance. Yes. Again, it's really lightweight. So it's great for um, making it easy to get in and out of. Yep. And now they've released it in all these great colors like blue and green and red. So I think of it as being super fun for family just because it's right. playful. The color is really playful and the cane sink seat is really buoyant as well and it looks a little low maintenance yeah I like that too yeah. for dining room things will spill so now we've got uh, this chair so this uh, is super cool very cool very comfy yes this is from cocoon and yeah. what I they call it the coverall chair so because it's got a slip cover yeah right? but what you can see is that down there if you can take a look there are casters so you can move it really easily back and That's forth great. like that. So this is a great, you can see how easily it moved on the carpet. Yes. Um, it's a great option for when you have a carpet in your dining room because a lot of people like that for the color and the pattern. Mm -hmm. And these kinds of chairs might get stuck. And that's the worst when you're at the dining table and you're like, oh, I can't, I can't, can't get, get in. Yeah. Or in. <laughs> yeah, either More way. Importantly. You either get stuck or you can't get in. Can you change up the slip covers? You could change it up. You could also nice. wash them. So that's, because oh, I looked at this and went, oh my God, like I'm going to be white. spilling white red wine yeah. and, and food all over it but you can throw it in the washing machine that is a good yeah. good option another now, classic what we, yeah what do we need to think about when we have this chair this is Hans Wagner chair it's called the wishbone chair mm -hmm. another iconic piece what I love about this piece is like we talked about with the arms see how the arms are short Yes. So this chair will tuck in really neatly to your table. You won't have it bumping into the into the edge of the table. And I think that's brilliant when you want to save space when you're not yes. at the table as well. This is actually paper cord, the seat. Oh. It's like a twined paper cord. I, th I have these chairs at home and at my cottage, and they are so comfortable. And you wouldn't nice. think it, but it's that light fabric, which just kind of gives you a lightness. It supports you. It almost makes you float on the structure of the chair. I like that. And, and like um, the Thonet, it's also a Bentwood, same sort of. Um, technology to create that bent wood frame. Mm -hmm. And this V at the back, that's why it's called the wishbone, yeah. is um, super comfortable. It's, it just gives you enough support at the back. And like I said, lightweight, right? Like just like the other one. That I, is nice. I do advise everyone though to put the little pads yeah, on the you bottom gotta do. Of, your, of your chair just for getting it in and out. Yeah, you'll kill your floors otherwise. And or this your is rugs. also part of that Scandi look that we were talking about earlier. It is. It's totally classic with that. And this one, very distinguished looking. Yes, this is also from LT. Yep. Um, I I wanted to bring this chair in because I love the arms. It's that special detail of that brass metal that goes around the back and it's just, you can look at that chair from the back and think, oh, it looks just as good from the front as it yeah. does from the back, just with those that little wrapping around of the metal. That's so nice. And it's again, like a gift. Yeah, right. And the, the arms, because they're metal, again, they're super practical. They're yes. not going to, you're not going to scratch up the wood. It gives kind of a buffer against your table. And so open, again, that light wood frame that makes it feel um, not as heavy and, and weighty at the table. 
So many good options, yeah. all very different, uh, but it's nice when you're considering a dining room chair, think about all of these things. Thanks, yeah. Suze. Let's head into the dining room now. There are so many options when it comes to dining room chairs, but you might want to think about certain things, have them in your mind when you're going shopping because that will indicate what you're going to uh, pick out. Absolutely. You've got a good selection here. I think so. They're mm -hmm. really varied, right? Yes. Um, well, this, let's start with this one. It's from LT. What I like about this chair is very traditional. This is a good yeah. option if you're really into traditional decor. It's got some nice details, like the beautiful sort of stud detail that's across the back. It's made out of leather, but mm -hmm. it's really durable, this fabric. For in the